it again. It has a very special meaning to me, but actually you can apply it to every one of your lives. And you need to. Last week I posted something on Facebook, and some of you will have read a letter that was sent to your parents last night. I'll discuss that in a little more detail later on. But that video clip was sent to me by an ex-student, a lad called Aaron. Sounds like I'm going to do a Jeremy Ford one. Uh, Aaron, I taught about 10 years ago, and he posted that clip as a result of what I put on Facebook. This morning, he sent me this message. Hope the assembly goes well today. Some may not be inspired by what you say now. But some will reflect. And for someone it will click. And when it clicks, it will change their life forever. Just ask them to listen, reflect and think. Because something you said to me changed my life forever. Look, Aaron was a normal kid. He was muddling along at a big city school in London, doing okay for himself, like many of you do. But then he discovered something that changed his life. Something he fell in love with, became passionate and enthusiastic. But more significantly, his attitude to people, his studies and life in general changed. Look, what we've got to accept is nothing in our lives is free. But I tell you this much. What you put into it, how hard you work, will reap rewards for you in the future. Remember this, you're owed nothing. You're not owed something because of what your parents did. You're not owed something because of where you live. You're not owed something because of who lives next door to you. You're owed nothing. You have to make what you want out of life. If you want something, you've got to go and get it. You've got to put your mind on it. You've got to work out how you're going to do that. And you've got to go and get it. What did the guy in the clip say? He said this, a legion of voices, a legion, loads of different people, are giving you permission to hit the snooze button and go back to sleep, go back to dreamland, he said. If you do that, you opt out. You opt out of striving for what you want. They want them to say this. For what is each day but a series of conflicts? Conflicts, arguments between the right way and the easy way. A series of conflicts between the right way or not doing the right thing and going the wrong way. What does that mean? It means that striving to be brilliant takes dedication, commitment and hard work, perseverance. Nothing comes easy. You have to fight for what is the right, despite what people may tell you, for what you want. In the clip it says, make sure you've found something that you really want to achieve. Because the easy way out will always be there, ready to take you away. Ready for you to say, you know what, if I really want to go and achieve this, I've got to work really hard, but actually I could be doing this. If you set yourself targets, and they shouldn't just be academic targets, they should be per uh, personal, family orientated. 
and you work out how you're going to achieve them, and you use those people around you, your friends, your family, your teachers, uh, your local minister, whoever it is, to help you on that pathway to make sure that you achieve, achieve what you want, your dream. However, again, referring back, it's really easy for those targets to simply be washed away. They might be washed away because of the person that sat next to you in class. They might be washed away because actually there's something brilliant on TV that you want to do when you should be doing something else. They might be washed away because you want to have a kick about in the park when you should be doing your homework or your revision. But if you're focused, you work out a way that you can do those at other times and achieve what you've got to achieve. Never be distracted from your job in hand. This is your job. You own it. Always things of the unexpected will come and try and knock you off your pathway. And you've all heard this expression. When you're knocked down, you've got to pick yourself up, you've got to dust yourself down, and you never ever lose sight of what you want to achieve, about how you can get it. Let me for one second take you uh, into my mind, tell you about my dreams. Not those of my childhood, but those of the more recent past and present. Look, the people that I've talked about, talked to in the playground know this. I've always wanted to be a teacher. Uh, rugby nearly got in the way. I always wanted to work with young people to do something that would allow them to better themselves. Well, that dream, that goal, that target brought me to this point. A point where I'm privileged enough to have my own school to lead and manage a school that I can put my mark on, put my stamp on, so that you can dare to dream. This school, I want this school to be a school where society and community doesn't put limits on what you can do and what you can achieve. Because actually, you should be after the very best for yourselves, for your family, for this community. You have a responsibility to yourselves, your family, this community. Never ever limit yourself. As a school, we talk about our journey. The one where we've been on together. The one whose destination was getting good. And notice I say was. Well, I can tell you now, that was never my dream. Never ever was that my dream. I don't want to be involved in something about getting good. We've achieved that, but it was a stepping stone on a pathway to become an outstanding. My target was an outstanding one. One where all of you had brilliant grades, amazing progress. One where all your behaviour was appropriate, professional. A dream where teaching in every classroom that you received was outstanding. Let me tell you this. I've not achieved that goal. Not yet. I've not achieved it for you as individuals, for us as an academy, for us as staff. There are plenty of things out there already that are brilliant, but not everything. There's been plenty of things on the way that have tried to stop me. Plenty of times when I could have chosen an easy route. But I don't, and I won't. I won't succumb to the fears in my mind, to the insecurities, to the doubts that I have about doing this for all of us, 
I won't do that. Because the voice that I choose to listen to reflects back on that thing. The voice that I choose to, is one, to listen to is one of defiance. A voice that tells me why I chose to work at Hathaway, why I want this academy to become outstanding. Because when the academy is outstanding, that's simply a stamp and a badge. What it actually means is that every teacher, every student is outstanding. And that's what matters. That's what's important. So each and every one of you, and I talk to staff and students when I say this, I want you to leave better for having been here. That's my dream. Now let me talk a little bit about that Facebook post and why Aaron chose to post the clip we watched today. It read like this. I'm sorry, I've not been keeping you all up to date with my health recently. I've suffered a lot of trouble with my kidneys because the medication I took in the time I was off. Unfortunately, despite what I might look like, and some of you might choose to disagree, Despite what I look like, I'm still not very well. I guess what I'm trying to tell you is something's come along that's trying to knock me down and stop me from achieving my dreams. My dreams that are built around doing things for us as a school. I've got to take some time away from school again. I've got to find the time to dust myself down and get back up so that I can fight this illness and come back. In my absence, Mr. Rodriguez will lead, lead this amazing school. And I will do everything that I can to be back here at Easter. In the meantime, I want you to do something for me. To help me make my dreams a reality. Be brilliant every day. Have the confidence to demand the best from your fellow classmates. Challenge those who are stopping your learning. You want to be a part of helping me to get better? Simply help us to have the way to be outstanding. Outstanding for you, outstanding for the community. You have a huge part to play and never, ever forget how important you are to us. Have a wonderful, safe, and very merry holiday. Be good, be safe, be brilliant. And I really, really want to see you in the summer. Watch the video, think about its content.